Stuart Rhodes, the founder of the Oath Keepers, has officially been sentenced to 18 years in prison after being found guilty of sedition for his role in the January 6 Capitol riots. Rhodes was convicted of seditious conspiracy by a Washington DC jury in November. Now, prosecutors wanted the judge to sentence him to 25 years, but ultimately the judge decided on 18 years. Now, what did Stuart Rhodes do specifically? According to CNN, Rhodes, who was accused of leading dozens of other individuals in a coordinated plot that culminated in the January 6th siege, was also found guilty of obstructing an official proceeding and tampering with documents. Of those that Rhodes led, 22 people, 22 have already been convicted of various federal crimes by a jury or guilty plea. Eight, including Rhodes's co-defendant, Kelly Meggs, who will be sentenced later Thursday, meaning today as well, were convicted of seditious conspiracy. Now, the judge argued during the sentencing that Rhodes failed to show even a little bit of remorse for what he engaged in. In fact, through what he said throughout the trial, it was very clear that Rhodes was not at all remorseful for what he had done or what he took part in. And this next video explains that element of the story in greater detail. The judge said that Rhodes did not express remorse for this. And the judge stated that they feared that if freed, he'd attempt this again. What exactly did Rhodes say? through the course of this trial that, that, that gave the judge that concern. <sighs> right, well, uh, the judge's words specifically uh, was, was that as we heard you speak today, the moment you are released, you will be prepared to take up arms against our government. He's quoting back to him, and that's because Stuart Rhodes spoke for about 20 minutes today uh, and essentially revealed how extreme he still is. He believes uh, that the election of 2020 was illegal. He believes that there is a criminal regime governing the United States. He believes he is a political prisoner. But Judge Mehta said to him, no, you are not. It is not because of your political beliefs that you are here here today is because you believe violence was the way to achieve the outcome of the election that you preferred. And that is not the way that American democracy works. He also said in the context of the sentencing hearing, quote, I'd like to start by just saying that I'm a political prisoner. And like President Trump, my only crime is opposing those who are destroying our country, Rose told the judge in court. And it did not bode well for him, Cenk. Okay, so first of all, fun fact, uh, that guy's got an eye patch. He looks like a tough guy, a warrior, but maybe in Afghanistan or Iraq. No, he shot his own eye out. Oh my God, idiot. I didn't even know that. That's Total amazing. Total idiot. Okay. What a fun detail to the story. Yes. So now, secondly, Donald Trump, oh my God, these guys are patriots and I might pardon them. Um, then why didn't you give a dollar to his defense? Left him totally hung, um, uh, hung him out to dry. He hung, Trump hung out uh, all those guys to dry. So uh, his Trump supporters gave him. A oh, couple hundred million dollars for legal defense. And they all say, "Oh my God, we love the January 6th guys, they're political prisoners, we can't wait to free them. Well, why don't you use your hundreds of millions of dollars to free them? Why do they have to use public defenders, etc? Because these guys aren't rich like Trump, they're, half of them are broke, right? So, and by the way, what happened? And now I'm massively in favor of this guy going away. Having said that, all the poor are getting jail sentences. That's true. All the rich that actually organized it, none of them are getting jail sentences. To be so, fair, in the video that we just watched, it looked like they were searching his home in Texas, which looked pretty nice. <laughs> it's in Texas. No, he lives in remote areas. Look, I read long stories about him, and I call him an idiot because he is in so many different ways. I mean, ways, he but shot he's his also, own eye out. Like, yeah, on. of course. But he's like, he's actually a guy that that wanted to be thoughtful. And he just went down the wrong rabbit hole and just kept going and going and going until he became convinced that he had to be the vigilante militia for Donald Trump and, and cause violence on anyone that defied the dear leader. And he still believes that. And now that gets us to the most important point. If Donald Trump is elected, he will definitely pardon the great majority of these 100%. guys. Hundred percent. I was and just he says thinking it. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not even it's not an open question. He said, I'm gonna pardon the a huge majority of them, maybe all of them. We don't know yet, okay? So we don't know that it's gonna be Rhodes in particular, but he's pardoning most of them. When he does that, what signal does that send? That sends a signal, do violence on behalf of Donald Trump, 
and you will get a get out of jail free card. Very literally, okay? He's going, it's like the villain Bane in the Batman movie where he releases all the prisoners and he goes, now wreak havoc. That's exactly what Donald Trump would be doing if he gets reelected. So guys, you know, you see us rip Biden day after day because of his weakness, because he's so conservative on economic issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But Donald Trump is like a comic book villain. He tried to overturn our democracy once. He used these vigilante thugs. He's definitely going to do it again, and he's going to release the guys who are convicted of insurrection against the United States of America because they did the insurrection and the violence on his behalf. Remember when his staff told him they're looking to execute your vice president, President Trump. He said, well, maybe he had it coming. He 100% believes in violence. And when if he pardons any of those guys, it's a giant green light. So what kind of violence can they do to all of us and get away with? Probably as much as they want. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.